Hey my friend, Danny Fortz here with Rejection Free Formula, no calling, no chasing, no convincing. In this third video for Member Hub, we're gonna be talking about the membership pages. This is the crux of actually creating all of your membership pages and your, concept, your content for your membership site, okay? And it's very simple. Again, we will walk through these three, um, these these other two steps and if you if this is the first video you're watching I would go to the links that are below this video and go watch step one and then step two and obviously we're here on step three so step three is pretty easy and again um, what you see here is literally obviously we're not going to create the product um, if we were importing a product we could do that but you can see here like this is the main um, thing of our actual product and then you have all these buttons here and I'll go through most of these I won't go through all of them but I'll go through most of them okay so here's what we do first we have to name the product um, here so we can edit this and you're gonna see here it says um, title and we're gonna call this WordPress webmaster and then it says short description um, go from complete um, complete newbie not knowing how to create a uh, let's back this up go from complete newbie to wordpress let's go to wordpress webmaster in 14 videos this is a step by step explanation explanation of WordPress that will take you from A to Z take you from A to Z boom okay let's leave it at that choose the instructor you can create the instructor here so if I if I went here to create the instructor instructor I could go over here and just add um, a new instructor but since I already have uh, I don't know oh, I didn't save that um, but since I already didn't have I already have an instructor oh I guess I got to create it for every single module that I actually do so what I could do is do this again um, sorry for the delay on this guys WordPress webmaster um, uh, go from complete newbie to WordPress expert in the matter of days. Uh, 14, 14 videos take you step by step from A to Z in helping you create WordPress WordPress websites okay let's just do that um, I'll go back to creating the instructor in a minute upload uh, image you can see here it says uh, you can always add or edit this image later but it tells you the size right here this is a 2500 by 1150 so what I'm gonna do is since I already have uh, that one ready let's go down to Dude. So if I have 1150, that would be this one. So I'm going to upload that. It's going to load down here, or at least it should. It should be this last one here, which it is. I'm going to hit insert, and now you can see that insert. You can see the URL for it right there. Same thing here. Um, it says upload the logo for this. Uh, 600 by 150, same thing. Uh, I have one on my um, desktop that I just created for this video. Uh, I believe it was that one 600 by 150 yes so there that one goes should look it's already right here I just click insert and you can see that that one is there and then I can actually hit save and I won't lose my um, I won't lose my my content okay so you could see that right there now I can go back in here and add an instructor so I can create an instructor I can go here instructor name I can put my name right here I can put all my content um Danny Danny is a uh, WordPress expert 
and has been building WordPress WordPress websites for himself for himself and clients for let's let's say five years I'm just throwing this in here um, just because trying to get this video done I can go back and edit all this stuff later recommended um, size it says 500 by 500 for the picture I already know I have an image in here that I've been using for um, you know my instructor image and so that's my instructor image I hit submit and now it's gonna have my instructor image right there so I can add tons more instructors there can be more than obviously one instructor so I'm gonna go back to my membership pages here and so uh, when I go back in here now I can add select the instructor and as you can see it, it says Danny Forts which is right there and I hit save and now uh, that parts done there so um, next we go over here it says add video or import video modules obviously um, if you're importing um, you know membership content from elsewhere from another member hub um, user or whatever you could obviously import that there but obviously we're not going to do that so um, you can add a video and this is the the quote-unquote video manager and so I'm gonna go back to adding videos later I'm gonna do that in a separate module um, but what what we do here is we can add so this was the this will give like the overview of the course basically okay so that's what this video could be for and then here is where you add content below so this we're gonna add more modules here if that makes sense um, this is how we can set our levels um, let me go back here this would be just a content module so obviously any content that you could still do as a membership page but not if it wasn't video so if you just had text and what have you or PDF whatever you have um, you can add a giveaway module and this would be a add uh, a category module so these are the types of modules that you can create um, here is where you set your level okay um, here's related module settings so obviously that's after we have our, our modules put in but right now um, we could go through and, and set levels and because I haven't created any levels yet you see that right here it says create it says create levels right so I can create levels so let's create a level right now and you can see here what do you think that I go do next there's levels and then there's packages so let's create a level okay so let's call this one uh, the level name we're gonna call it um, uh, basic basic WordPress WordPress um, webmaster web master course right um, contents included in the level would be we can call it a basic level um, level description provides video trainings let's say for let's get the number there 14 video 14 video trainings on how to uh, install install and use WordPress for a to from from a to Z takes beginners from noob to expert right I could just put that is there a trial period you can designate that if you want to okay um, so that's the level right there payment options I just go here and it says create a package for payment options so I, I have to create a package first so let me save this you see how even if you don't know what to do it tells you what to do so let's go back here to edit and you can see I need to I, ha I need to add a package so if I go to package and then it says select because I don't have so I select WordPress webmaster and then it says create a package so I'm gonna create a package um, which I already thought I had done this here okay I may be a little bit wrong on this let's see so autoresponder sign up form okay default landing page message okay so 
I'm not sure what I'm doing here that's wrong. Um, I'm trying to put, ah, okay, so we, we have our we have our package here. There must have been a glitch or whatever. Um, you can see here it says now I have a payment method. Payment method, and here I can just go down to PayPal. Now I can enter the price. So let's just say I put this at twenty nine dollars. Obviously, I can use a thank you page URL. I do not have one set up, so that would be something to take note on. So if you're creating a um, a membership site you know that you have to create a thank you page or thank you page URL okay it says right there um, then here's your button code that you would have on your sales page that you can go add later on does that make sense okay that's cool so we're not gonna worry about an affiliate program right now but we're just gonna save this and we're gonna move over to banner section and it says we can add a banner but for this video, we're not going to worry about this right now, but just know that you can add a banner. Uh, yeah, so it tells you right here, these are the size banners that you can add, um, you know, and I can do that in a different video. Let me just, let me just make a note of it. Um, banner image. Okay. So that's, that's that. Let's go back. So we're still on step three here, even though we've been kind of going between step three and step four. Okay. So let's go back to the member of pages and now we've set our level. Let's just set our level. Now you're going to see that it says right here, basic WordPress webmaster course. We're going to set this level right here and then we're going to hit save. Obviously we can go back and create a monthly subscription and then every month you would tell them what they would be getting as far as training goes. Okay. But for the sake of keeping this video simplistic, that's all we're going to do um, right now. And then you have, we can delete this. This would be it's active. Uh, this would be to view the product. And obviously we don't have content in there right now to view it. We can clone this actual um, thing once we have it here. And then this, when you see this, this kind of uh, left pointing arrow, um, that means there's a, there, there's a drop down. But obviously there's no drop down because we haven't added any content yet. Does that make sense? Okay. So. Having said that, let's say if we were going to add content below, okay? And this would be for, we just added a video module, okay? So we know that part of this course is going to be a, a module here for whoever's in our membership site, right? So we go here and change the title. Now I'm gonna go back to my content here and here's my, here's my uh, video one right here, right? It says right here. So let's, let's do this. I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to go back here to the title and I'm literally going to put say uh, video one and then it says instant instant creation I could put instant WordPress creation and then the short description I have right here I literally have that there and it says the time is 633 so I'm gonna put that here, and I'm even gonna put that the time here is six minutes and 33 seconds. It says includes, okay. So now you see this here, it says upload image. You can always edit this image later. Again, this would be like the thumbnail for the video. So I'm just gonna upload the same um, image that I used before because it's that same size, which is right here, this image right here. I'm gonna insert it, I'm gonna hit save. And that's going to be that. So now we have the name of this particular module. This is inside the page. So you can see this here where I can add a video, I can add resources, and then I can create a longer description. So I don't really have a longer description for this, so I'm not going to do that. But obviously if I were to add a video, and like I said, I'm going to show you how to add a video on the next page because I don't want this video to be long. Uh, and it's already longer than I want it to be. Um, so this is part of the actual package. Okay. So I could sit there and sit there and say that this is, this is part of the package, but if I was going to, this is part of this package here. So it automatically falls under here. And then all the things that are the same before I can delete, I can create, make it active or not active. I can view it. I can drip feed this content, right? And obviously I can drag and drop and, and change the order, but let me just show you for a second what this would look like before I put the video in. Now you can see our, our, our membership area is starting to come along uh, just the bare bones of it. Obviously, 
I may want to change this background or change uh, some of the text so it's it's easily more readable but I can go adjust that later okay but this is what the preview of what this would look like so my name is Danny Fortson in the next video I'm just gonna show you how to add videos to this module so it'll be very quick and very to the point see you on the next video